Okay, greetings. You're with the Finn who loves Sims. That's an old fat man in a cruel world. Today we're going to look at something that uh, I really value in my flight sims, particularly in uh, IL-2 and DCS. In fact, I don't know if it works in the other sims, but it works great in those two. It's a program called NeckSafer. When you get older like me, it gets hard to turn your head a whole lot past your shoulder, and checking six in these games can be uh, difficult. Now, um, with a keyboard, if you're playing flat screen, you can use the keyboard or your controls to, uh, to look all around you, and you can get a pretty good look backwards. But in VR, well, it's not quite that easy. So Mr. Norbert Siepenkoter wrote this program that allows you to map a key on your joystick or a, a, a hat on your joystick or a buttons or whatever to allow you to look a little bit further. You look as far right or left as you can, hit the uh, switch and it gives you another 20 or 30 degrees which is which you can adjust and in fact I'm on his next saver page now and it's on get uh, getlab.com if you google it you'll you'll find it right away it's called neck safer I think he might mean neck saver but neck safer is great now I'm playing in open XR so if you look down here, there is a link to an OpenXR version of this, which will work if you're using um, OpenXR to play DCS or IL-2. It really does help in DCS. I'm not sure that OpenXR is a whole lot better in IL-2 than, than Steam is, but in DCS it makes a huge difference. And today I'm going to show you how to set that up. So you go here, you find the program, you download it. I'll uh, close this window now and we'll open up the file where I have NeckSafer stored. And you see here there's a NeckSafer program and there's XR NeckSafer. Well, I'm running an XR and I've already started my Pimax 8KX's uh, software, the Pimax uh, client. So this is all ready to go and I've already got VR hooked up and running. That's important. You want to have it running. Then you want to go to your, uh, for me, XR NeckSafer folder and go to XR NeckSafer Beta within that folder. Now I have tried saving the, the uh, executable file for this on my desktop and for some reason it doesn't work for me. I have to keep everything in the folder and go back to it and launch it from there but I don't care because it works so well. <laughs> it's just it's a great little app and I scroll down to the uh, XR NeckSafer app executable file and I click on that. Get it running. Okay, so now I can close this window, and I can I could minimize this this I can close the uh, I can close Microsoft. It's not Explorer anymore. What the hell do they call it? I don't know. I'm getting old. I can't remember things. I used to tell my students I suffered from CRS. They'd say, "What's that?" I just can't remember shit. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at these days. So here's our next safer, and you can see I'll manipulate the joystick. I'm moving one of my hats on the joystick, and you can see that. When I move it left, it'll rotate the view a little bit further left, like um, plus 65 degrees, actually, and right plus 65 degrees. One thing I would like is if I push the hat up, I'd like to have it add a little bit of uh, degrees to the up view, too, but I can live without that. This is a, this is a really astonishing program. And you, you set it up very easily. I mean, it's, it's, it's an easy program to set up. You set the center, you set the button, and it's as easy as clicking on that and selecting the joystick you want to set it up for, and then uh, scanning and hitting the button you want. So let's say we're, we're doing it here, and I want to set it up for looking left. All right, I pick my VK Sim Gunfighter, and then I scan, and now I push the button I want, and there it is. Push that hat left, I get to look left. All right, so now it's running, and it's important that you get it running before you uh, start the game. All right now, uh, because it won't for some reason, if you start it after the game has already started, at least on my system, it, it doesn't seem to register. So I've got NextSafer running. Now I go back to Pimax client, and uh, let's try it in. Oh, I guess I better. I, if I'm running, if I'm going to run an OpenXR, I better make sure I'm set for OpenXR. So I've got the Pimax VR control app. 
you will already know about this if you're running a Pimax. If you're not, you're probably an OpenXR anyway. So now I've got that set, and I'll just make sure that I've got Open Composite running too, because that's important here. All right, Open Composite. And again, if you're running OpenXR or Open Composite, you'll know how to do that. This video isn't about figuring out how to do that. This video is about using NeckSafer. Okay, there we go. And you can see that I'm already defaulted to uh, OpenXR. Good. So Open Composite is running in OpenXR mode. Now I can go to the game. And here's a neat way to get to it. If you want to see what your settings are in the Pimax client, there's no obvious button that says, oh, hey, go here to check your joystick and all that stuff. If you click on settings, you get your account settings. That's that's not what I want here. What I want is my joy is my actual headset setup. So I click on this little rectangle that represents the headset, and there we are. Now I have device settings. I can go here. I'm using lighthouses. I've got it set for 75 hertz. It's an 8KX. It can run at 90, but I, I find that 75 works great for me, and it's uh, it's also a little less prone to failure. Then I click on, so all my settings are here. I can set my vertical and horizontal offset for my IPD. And it's really, really quite simple to do. I mean, it takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, the, the headset is so configurable, it's unbelievable. I know, uh, I know some people have trouble with it because it does, there is a learning curve here. But again, that's not what this video is about. I've got other videos on the uh, Pimax client. Let's go to games. Okay, let's go to IL2. See, I can do it from here. I can click on Games, select IL2. I've got render quality set to 1. I have fixed foveated rendering off because I don't think it applies in this game. Vertical sync is off. And I've got contrast and brightness set the way I like it. Okay, super duper apply. Save. Start. Now, it'll take a second for things to start up, but as soon as they, it'll take a minute or so to get all this uh, working. I suppose I could tell you a joke. How many elephants can you fit in a Toyota Corolla? Four. Two in the front, two in the back. How can you tell how many elephants are at your church service on Sunday? Count the number of Toyota Corollas in the parking lot. Multiply by four. <laughs> That's a silly joke, but it's not the kind of joke that would ever get me kicked off YouTube, if you know what I mean. IL2 Sturmovic coming up. And it will go to, uh, to VR mode, at which point I'll, uh, I'll switch over to, uh, well, maybe I won't even bother putting the headset on. I don't need to, because I just want to show you how this works. There, see? If I, if I have the headset on, and I'm just going to hold it up here. Oh, look at it move around. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm looking here, and I'm looking as far as I can. Wait, that's not far enough. Okay, there we go. Now I can look behind me. Back to the front. Look left. Oh, my aching old neck there. Okay. Can sound effects make it better for you? I don't know if, uh, if it really matters, but uh, I'll try to make it amusing if I can. Um, so that's it. That's XR NeckSafer. How to use it in OpenXR on the Pimax 8KX in IL2. This is a program that's worth getting. Google it. It's on GitLabs and it's called NeckSafer. You will want this if you play IL2 or DCS in virtual reality. Thanks for watching.